multi connected to plexus, we see around us a made up of various components connected to each other in an electric cell. So, it is necessary to understand the electric cell can take time, not that long the circuit, and stop with the electric circuit for voltage and current. Great day, Dr. Tate, our Dr. Sami, Assistant Professor in Chandigarh Engineering College, Karma. Through this presentation, I will try to make you learn all about the electric circuit. Electric circuit is a broad part of flows electrical. It is basically an arrangement of electrical energy sources and various circuit elements such as register inductor capacitor are connected in series pattern or series pattern combinations. Type of electric circuit? We can classify electrical circuit on the basis of type of current flows. We can also classify it on the basis of arrangement of resistance. We can also classify it on the basis of condition of circuit. On the basis of type of current flows, electric circuit are of two types. AC circuit and DC circuit. On the basis of condition of circuit, AC and DC electric circuit are of three types open circuit, closed circuit, and short circuit. On the basis of arrangement of resistance, electric circuit are of three types series circuit, parallel circuit, and series parallel circuits. Next is the DC circuits. DC circuit is a circuit in which direct current flows. Direct current is a unidirectional current through magnetic domains constant. AC circuit is a circuit in which alternating current flows. Alternating current is a bidirectional current through magnetic and direction change periodically at the relative interval of time. Next is on the condition of electric circuit. On the condition of the condition, on the condition of the circuit, so electric circuit is of three types. First is open circuit. An electric circuit in which continuity breaks so that current doesn't flows. In this figure, continuity breaks here so that no current flows through the loop. Example of the open circuit, the strength of bulb does not flow if one of the bulb goes out. Next is closed circuit. A complete electric direction around which the electrical flows is known as closed circuit. This is a figure of closed circuit. In the closed circuit, current starts from pocket terminal of the supply through line. Load, neutral, and ends in the negative terminal of the supply. Next is short circuit. The circuit in which line and neutral bars are shorted, that is, touch with each other, are called short circuit. In the short circuit, the current starts from positive terminal of the supply through line and directly return directly back to the negative terminal of the supply without passing through the loop. The current follows that. On the basis of the arrangement of resistance, electric circuit are of three types. First type is series circuit. When the resistors are connected end to end so that same current flows through them, then the circuit is known as series circuit. The total resistance of the circuit is sum of the all the individual resistance connected in series. So R is equal to R plus R plus R P. Applied voltage is, is equal to the sum of individual voltage drop. That is, P is equal to P1 plus P2 plus P. For individual voltage drop, we have to use voltage reader rule. Voltage reader rule is that if we find the voltage across carbon, then P1 is equal to total voltage into the resistance across which we have find the voltage drop divided by sum of all the resistance connected in series. Similarly, P2 is equal to V into R2. After finding the voltage drop across R2, divided by sum of resistance connected in series. Similarly, V3 is equal to total voltage into R3 divided by R plus R2 plus R. Next is parallel circuit. In parallel circuit, the starting end of all the resistors are connected to one point and the finishing end of all the resistors are connected to another point. So, circuits are formed in known as parallel circuit. Voltage across each resistance is same as applied voltage. Total resistance of the parallel circuit is the sum of reciprocal of all the individual resistance connected in parallel. So 1 by R is equal to 1 by R plus 1 by R. The total current of the parallel circuit is equal to sum of the individual current across the resistance. That is I is equal to R plus I. For individual current across the resistor, we use current rule. Current is that when we find the current across R1, R1, then current as 
that a double sum of the current, a double sum of all the current moving at a point is mathematically it is equal to expression of r is equal to zero. For sign convention, all the incoming current are taken as positive and all the incoming current are taken as negative. Apply the Kirchhoff's law at this node point. In the node point, we have C, I1, I2, I3 are incoming currents. I4, I5 are outgoing currents. So, equation comes out to be I1 is incoming current plus I2 comes from incoming plus plus minus outgoing currents are negative. So it comes out to be I1 plus I2 plus I3 is equal to I4 plus I5. Applying the case set at this point, another statement comes out that is the sum of incoming runs is equal to sum of outgoing runs. Summation of I again is equal to summation of I out. The idea of Kirchhoff's law is commonly known as conservation of charge. Next is Kirchhoff's second law. The Kirchhoff's second law relates to the voltage in a closed circuit of an electric network that is known as Kirchhoff's voltage law. KVL. KVL states that in a closed circuit, in a closed circuit, the algebraic sum of all the EMF plus the algebraic sum of all the voltage law, that is the product of current and resistance is zero. Mathematically, it is equal to summation of VMF plus I in the summation of R is equal to zero. Before applying the Kirchhoff voltage law, we have to learn some rules, that is, sign conventions. First convention is that if VR travels from A to B, and current has also travels from A to B, it means we are moving in the same direction as the of current, means drop as negative. If we are travels from A to B and current is travels from B to A, that means we are moving in a direction opposite to current, so the voltage drop is positive. Another sign convention is that if we are travels from A to B, a battery drop. From A to B, it has rising right potential, so EMF is plus P. E. Last sign convention is this. That if we are traversed from A to B and battery is at the from A to B it is falling potential, so EMF is taken as that. Next is advantage, limitation, and application of Kirchhoff's law. Advantage of Kirchhoff's law is that simplification and analysis of complex circuit become manageable. Calculation of unknown voltage and current is very easy with the help of Kirchhoff's law. The limitation of Kirchhoff's law, it works under the it works under the assumption that there is no fluctuating magnetic field in the flow group. Electric field and EMF could be induced, which causes Kirchhoff's rules to break in the presence of magnetic field. Last one is the application of Kirchhoff's law. With the help of Kirchhoff's law, we can analyze any type of the circuit. Uh, another application of Kirchhoff's law is that we can easily evaluate unknown voltage and circuit of any circuit. As we know that basic electric engineering circle around the electric circuit which mostly comprise the numerical. So in next slide we will discuss some problems related to Kirchhoff's law. First problem is we have to find the current in one ohm resistance using Kirchhoff's law. In this numerical First, we have to distribute the current. First rule is to distribute the current. In this problem, we have two voltage source. The voltage source which has higher potential is considered for the current distribution. The rule is that if the current I will start flowing from the positive terminal of the if the current I will start flowing from the positive terminal of the battery, at the end, the negative terminal of the battery will see the same current. Then our current distribution is safe. Let's start. Positive terminals, current I, I. At E, we have two current S, current I1, 
I minus I one. I minus I one. From I minus I one, in this side I one. Then I we have to see the same current that we have to the back. Our aim is to find the current in one point of distance. So the current in one point of distance is I one. Our aim is to find I. As we see in the current distribution, the current is distributed into two unknowns. So we have to uh, apply the Kirchhoff's law for two loops. First, we apply the Kirchhoff's law in the loop A E F D A. In A to B, falling potential, so E M F is negative. E to F, we are moving in the same direction as the output current. Voltage drop is negative. F to B, we are moving in a direction opposite to current, and it comes out to be. Another equation is minus six minus pi one plus pi minus pi. Three I minus four I is equal to six. We have two unknowns. Apply another equation. We apply the same in the loop. In a row of E B C F E. E to B. Our direction is opposite to current, so drop is positive. Fallen potential minus nine. Plus three i plus i one is equal to zero. I one plus five i is equal to nine. That is equation two. We have to find i one. First equation is three i minus four i one is equal to six. Five i plus i one is equal to nine. We have to find out i. We have to multiply it with five, multiply it with p, and then subtract. So p i minus twenty i one is equal to thirty. So p i plus p i one is equal to thirty. We have to find i one. We have to subtract the equations. Minus twenty three I one is equal to three. It means I one is minus three by twenty three twenty eight. It means current comes out. I one comes out to be minus three by twenty eight P. So the direction of current is this. Next problem is. Next problem related to Kirchhoff's law is that find the value of unknown resistance and run through the network as shown in figure. Condition is that when the current is zero in the branch flowing. First step is we have to first distribute the current. In this network, we have only one voltage source. Start from this terminal, let it be I. At B, we have two currents, I one and S. When I minus I one will reach to point O. In a question, we know that the current in a branch flows is zero. It means all the current flows to this point I minus I one. I one. I minus I one. I one. I one gets low. It is R. Same term to turn back to the electric terminal of the supply. Now, question is that we have to find the value of unknown R and the current fluid. The current fluid is R. As current I is distributed in I1, 
So we have to solve two equations. First, we apply KDN in this P A O B. In B to K, we are moving in the same direction of the arms, so drop as diameter. In A O, no controls, so no drop. In O to B, we are moving in a direction of the two, then drop as plus O R R. Minus R plus R one plus O R one is equal to Z. Minus I plus Y I one is equal to Z. Next, we have to apply the Virchow's law. If we apply the KVL in this loop, O A C loop, in this loop R is unknown and R one is unknown, so we cannot apply. In this loop, we can all. So we will not apply the Virchow's law. Next problem is to find the current in two mole resistance using Virchow's law. First, we have to move the current down.
first condition. We have to find the grant in two home distributed with the cultures. First, school and to distribute the grant. In this manner, we have two voltage source. The source which has higher potential is considered for the grant distribution. Let's start from I can start flowing from the master terminal of the battery. At this point, we have two grants. Current I1, I minus I1. I1 is I1. In this one, current is coming I1. So that I current is returned to the next return to the battery. Questions to find the current in two more resistors. In two more resistors, the current is I1. The current I is distributed. I1, so we have to find two equations. We have to apply the lectures now in two loops. First loop is A B E S A. In A to B, we are moving in the same direction as that of current, so drop S is negative. B to C, we are moving in the same direction as that of current, also negative. In up to A, it is minus. In this presentation, I will try to learn you about basic electric circuit, how the electric circuit is to be solved with the help of 